Mariano Marcos Memorial State University, or DIMSU, is the lone state university in La Union, Philippines. DIMSU was created through Presidential Decree 1778 on January 15, 1981 by former President Ferdinand E. Marcos. Founded on the philosophy, total human development with appropriate competencies, DIMSU was born from the merging of five former schools of the Union, namely Don Mariano Marcos Memorial State College at Baknotan La Union, La Union School of Arts and Trade at City of San Fernando La Union, Community College of La Union at City of San Fernando La Union, Southern Ilocos Polytechnic State College at Agoo La Union, and Sapilang Elementary School at Baknotan La Union. The university has three major campuses, namely the North La Union Campus in Baknotan, the Mid La Union Campus in San Fernando City, and the South La Union Campus, which is found in the towns of Agoo, Santa Tomas, and Rosario La Union. Jimsu also houses the Open University System, which is located in San Fernando City, La Union. Jimsu is the home of two national centers, the National Apiculture Research, Trading and Development Institute, or NARTDI, and the Sericulture Research and Development Institute, or SRDI, anchored in seven core values, namely service, productivity, excellence, commitment, innovativeness, advocacy, and leadership. Jimsu envisions to become a globally competitive university and is empowered to provide high-quality instruction, research, and extension. Its undiminished goal is to lead in transforming human resources into productive, self-reliant citizens and responsible leaders. Living with its mantra, embracing world-class standards, Jimsu is ISO certified. Through the strong leadership of the current president, Dr. Jaime E. Pac Manuel Jr. and the vice presidents and the teamwork and commitment of all DIMSU personnel, DIMSU passed ISO 9001-2015 on November 19, 2020. The audit scope includes the provision of instruction, research, extension, and support services. Overall, 24 processes were audited. The ISO 9001-2015 Certificate Number 20.67.PH112906.00 originally approved on November 19, 2020, was issued on November 29, 2020. Further, on November 8-12, 2021, DIMSU passed the first surveillance Asha. audit and the certificate attesting that the university QMS conforms to the requirements of ISO 9001-2015, number 20.67.PH112906-01, was issued on November 29, 2021. As an affirmation of DIMSU's excellent systems, it rewards and recognition, learning and development, and recruitment selection and performance management. The Philippine Civil Service Commission, or CSC, conferred DIMSU with certificates of recognition. These implies that the three systems have uh, reached maturity level two. Screen-nya. Also, DIMSU's North La Union Campus oh, passed the Institutional Sustainability ya. Assessment by the Commission on Higher Education. DIMSU has 109 academic programs broken yeah, down bu. into 13 doctorate yes, degree programs, yeah, 31 Good master's day, degree Roda, programs, Roda. 38 baccalaureate degree programs, and 7 diploma or certificate programs. In addition, the university boasts of 20 academic programs that have been pre-accredited to level 4 status uh, by the accrediting agency of ya. chartered colleges. Hello, Dr. Mega. Good afternoon. Hello. Yeah, good day. How are you? I'm good. How about you, Dr. Mega? I'm good, but my voice is like this. <laughs> it's sexy, yeah? yeah? I got a little bit um sore throat, that's why my voice is... Okay. Yeah. And today we have Natasha here. Natasha is our staff, and she will help us with the um, um video... But you want to play by yourself, or uh, Natasha will do it for you? Yeah, Which it's, it's okay with us. It's okay, okay with so us, Doctor Mega. If they will, you will do it on your own. Okay, okay. okay. Natasha, yeah. Natasha, bisa buka kamera. Kita ngomong-ngomong dulu. 
Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will change yeah. my virtual background actually. Okay. <laughs> so Natasha, so uh, you will be the moderator for today and also MC. Yes, ma'am. I will okay. be the moderator. So let Let's ask to a brief trial first, and then because we're now twelve thirty five here, so we still have twenty five to um yeah to practice can we do it yes yes sure okay so the same as what i have already forwarded to you dr mega the okay. random of the programs yeah so of course the spell from the uh, moderator uh -huh. and then the uh, vice president for academic affairs will be joining us today to give her opening remarks Okay. And then uh, you will be the one to give the opening remarks from Upis, okay. right, Dr. Okay. Mega? Yeah. I will After talk on that, behalf of our rector. Uh, yeah, you will talk in behalf of yes. rector. Yes. So, you know my uh, position right now? Yes. You are the, uh, uh, let me see, you are the uh, head of science and technology no, center, uh, correct? Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> it's a it's, uh, new position. So oh, Okay. Since uh, 31st March, I was appointed as the head of international affairs. So, oh, yeah, that's well, why. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. That's why uh, today it's my first task to give a speech. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, this will be your first. Uh, yeah, my first uh, appointment, my first event. Correct. Correct. Officially. So, uh, we will have more events uh, on yeah. the. Uh, succeeding months and okay. years for this partnership right ma'am okay so after the uh, after your talk mm -hmm. or, or after your message mm -hmm. it will be the uh, it will be another it will be a, uh, a photo opportunity with our university officials and our oh. participants for the okay. opening program okay so after that um I will introduce the uh, uh, yeah before the introduction of the speakers. It will be first the uh, statement of our housekeeping rules mm -hmm. before the start of the activity. So mm -hmm. after stating the housekeeping rules, I will introduce the first speaker. I think Dr. Stepan Kups has already joined the meeting, okay. and then uh, Dr. Kups will deliver his um, lecture. After that, we will have a. Uh, uh, Q and A. I okay. suggest, and I. So the Q and A um, will be the first speaker, and then Q and A, and then the next speaker, and Q and A again. Yes, yes. Okay. So speaker, uh, speech, and then Q and A, and then we will award the certificate. Okay. Since uh, they will not be joining our closing program on the fourteenth. Okay. So after each after each speech, it will be the closing activity for I I mean the awarding of certificates. Okay. And then another photo opportunity with our speaker. Okay. After that, we will have at least five minute water break for our participants. And then uh, I will introduce the second speaker with uh, Professor Nora. Okay. And then his uh, her speech. After that, another set of Q and A, okay. and then uh, awarding of certificates. Mm -hmm. A screenshot again of the participants and our speakers and then my closing spiel uh invitation for tomorrow's activity that will be your talk and dr cabrera's talk uh yeah. um for the uh, for the housekeeping rules i i am informing the participants that we will only entertain questions mm -hmm. that are on or that were typed in our chat box so is it okay with you also dr mega no, I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so in as much as we'd like also to see their faces while our lecturers deliver their lectures, mm -hmm. um, as a sign of courtesy to other participants, we will require them to turn off their cameras okay. for them to focus more on okay. our activities. I yeah. assume the uh, DIMSU technical team already granted a co-host uh, yeah. function, so the uh, DIMSU team can now share screens as well as um, mute other participants who are uh, unmuted okay 
And yeah. So also, that's the rundown of the program. Okay. Yes, Dr. Mega. And uh, I think I have to know when will we play the national anthem? Uh, the national anthem you will, will be play played. national anthem. Yeah. yeah, if if you can forward it to our drive, our technical team will just uh, be the one to play it for okay. you. Okay. So it will be the it will be the opening pray I mean the prayer and then the Philippine national anthem followed by the Indonesian national anthem. Okay, so everything will After, be done by uh, from your side. Yeah, if you okay. will upload it in our drive. Yeah, uh, I will mm. not send it uh, drive. This is a YouTube, so you can oh. just check. Uh, everyone can access uh, the YouTube, so I think that's easy. Yeah, that will be okay with us, Dr. Mega. I did. I sent it to you, the Lagu Indonesia Raya. It's Indonesian National Anthem. Mm -hmm. And also, um, the our university APV. Um, yeah. Natasha, uh, will you share your video of Ukris? Okay, okay, ma'am. YouTube, YouTube atau file ya? Uh, oh, YouTube. YouTube, okay. YouTube-nya dikirim uh, It's okay. Ya? It's okay, ma'am, if I share the screen. Yeah. yeah. Uh, maksudnya dari mereka mau punya file semuanya supaya uh, ada ini. Mereka bisa play. Mereka yang mau play. Oh, iya, yeah, iya. Yeah. Jadi satu pintu. Nat, suaraku gimana, Mas? <laughs> Kedengeran gak sih? Kedengar ya? <laughs> jelas apa nggak jelas? Agak, uh, agak itu ya, Bu. Iya, <laughs> langsung aja Iya. Tapi masih audible kan? <clears throat> Tegar, Gana, Noval. Dr. Mega, yes. we already we already played the EBP for Dingsu. You may play your own EBP while waiting for other participants and of course waiting our university officials. We I already informed the vice president for academic affairs uh, mm -hmm. regarding our opening program that will be around uh, 18 minutes from now. So we still have enough time to play your EBP and uh, some errands. Uh, my staff will send. Uh, just wait a moment. Mm -hmm. oh, no worries. Dr. Stefan Koops, hi. Hello, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. My pronunciation is okay, Stefan. Yes, Koops. that is correct. Okay. Madam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too online. Yeah. So we are still waiting for the other speakers. Uh, she is Ibu Nora, but uh, I think she's now doing preparation. So please wait for a moment. And I have to say sorry that my voice is a little bit, yeah, <laughs> cute, right? <laughs> Very nice. I, yeah, I have sore throat actually. Very so I cough a lot last night, but I tried my best to get recovered. But yeah, still, today I'll give um, a speech, like opening speech, and tomorrow will be my turn to deliver the lecture. But I'm afraid for longer talk will be difficult for me tomorrow. <laughs> I will try my best anyway. Bunora, udah join. Natasha, Bunora dijadikan kohos ya, supaya bisa share screen. Dokter okay. Mega, ya, Dokter Oda. We are having, yeah, we are having problem regarding your national anthem. We cannot play it on our end. So oh, is it okay? 
Okay, then yeah. Natasha will play. Natasha, uh, nanti kamu play ya. Iya, yeah, Bu. Ya, yeah, mereka nggak bisa play. Kamu aja yang play. Bu Nora jadikan co-host, aku juga jadikan co-host. And I have Hello. to say... <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, here is Bu Nora. Bu Am I Nora late? Speaker. Am no, I late? No, you're not late. Okay. You still have time. So, Bu Nora, Dr. Roda here will be the MC, moderator of today, and uh, Dr. Stepan Kups is uh, the first speaker. So, he will talk first, and then uh, a qu question and answer, Q&A, after his talk, and then your turn, and then Q&A. So, separately, the Q&A. Okay. Okay, yeah. sip. <clears throat> And I also have to say sorry that I cannot attend all of the agenda uh, because at 14, I have another meeting with Thailand. <laughs> See, <laughs> with Thailand, but I will keep my uh, device here. So, but maybe if you uh, need me, you can send me in WhatsApp. Okay, uh, maybe I will not responding in Zoom. Bu Nora, suaraku gimana? Serak-serak basah. So sexy. <laughs> Very good. Hi. Easy Tapi, woman. Kedengaran nggak? Kedengaran. Aku sih paling keras. Clear kok. Aku sih menggunakan energi. Kliknya yang... di itu. Louder the anu, volume. Alright, so it's maximum. Call. Oh, masih kecil, suaranya kecil. Enggak, enggak. Cuma kayak kamu, uh, anu ngeden aja, ngotot gitu loh. Iya memang. <laughs> memang, memang ngotot. <laughs> ya udah hemat energi. Oke. Okay. Udah siap kan? Ya udah. Ra. Ya, yeah, disiap-siapin. <laughs> Gak apa-apa. Saya penting show mas go on. Lagi di kantor, Bu? Enggak, rumah. <laughs> Kirain. Kantor enggak ada tempat yang itu tersembunyi. Maksudnya. Di sini ya? Ruangnya terbuka. Di sini. Enggak bisa. Aku besok juga maunya dari rumah. Tapi engkau nak nuzulul Quran ni ya? Nuzulul Quran kan online? Yang offline kan? Online. Tapi rasa mangkat rawat tak? Ya rawat. I'm sorry ya, Miss Roda, Doctor Roda and Doctor Stefan. We talk about with the Javanese language. Nat, uh, di style itu video iklan kita. Lagi mute dulu ya. Mm Yong, Nang. Thank <laughs> you. 
Tas PGRI Semarang is located in the culturally strong Semarang City, Central Java Province, Indonesia. With these features, Semarang is a potential place for students to develop themselves. The spirit that drives Universitas PGRI Semarang is nationalism and religiosity. Nationalism is the spirit to unite the nation in the midst of culture differences. We have seven faculties consist of Faculty of Education This faculty is the oldest faculty at our campus with the largest number of students. It has three study programs, the Guidance and Counseling Study Program, Elementary School Teacher Education, and Early Childhood Development Teacher Education. Faculty of Social Science and Sports Education there are several points that become our focus in this faculty. First, the value of humanism as national identity. Second, physical health as a support for quality education. Third, the understanding of economic values as a pillar of human civilization. This faculty has three study program, Pancasila and Citizenship Civil Education, Physical and Recreational Education, and Economic Education, Faculty of Language and Arts. This faculty provides education to generate language and art educators with pedagogical, personal, social, and professional competence and competitive abilities in dealing with the current aid development in order to develop themselves into professionals such as translator, newscasters, or journalists by making use of their language and artistic skills. This faculty has three study programs, Indonesian Language and Literature Education, English Education, Regional Language and Literature Education, Javanese Language. Faculty of Mathematics, Science, and Information Technology Education. This faculty has study programs of Mathematics Education, Biology Education, Physics Education, and Information Technology Education. The vision of this faculty is to be an excellent and distinguished faculty of Mathematics, Natural Science, and Information Technology Education by 2025. Faculty of Engineering and Informatics Established on April 17, 2014, this faculty has six study programs, namely Architecture, Mechanical Engineering, Civil Engineering, Electrical Engineering, Informatics, and Food Technology. Faculty of Economic and Business This faculty has a mission to be a faculty of economics and business that excels in the field of digital base, creative economics and business with a distinctive identity. Faculty of Law The Faculty of Law of University of Pegar Ismarang is committed to develop legal knowledge and this is done, among others, by organizing seminars, discussions, comparative studies, and field experience practices. In order to support the teaching and learning activities, we have four complexes of campuses. Campus 1, located at Jalan Dr. Cipto Jalan Lontar. This campus consists of representative and modern buildings for teaching and learning activities. This campus consists of central building, main building, 
student activity center, library, graduate program building as well as a representative auditorium meeting hall for national class concerts and international seminars. Campus 2, located at Jalan Sriwijaya. This campus has a hotel available for both students and public in general, as well as a large meeting room for teacher professional training programs and various other large-scale meetings. Campus 3, located at Jalan Bendan Duo. This campus has a building for students' practices, especially mechanical and electrical engineering department students. This campus supports various activities to increase electrical, mechanical, and architecture skills. Campus 4, located at Jalan Gajah. This campus has a teaching learning building complex and a sports centers including basketball, badminton, futsal, and other athletic sports activities. This campus also has a dormitory building provided for students as well as a high school laboratory school which was established by the Universitas PGRI Semarang. Why do you have to choose Ogris as a place to study? We realize the importance of international relation to connect the discourse currently developing in the international world. This is where we establish a collaboration to open up opportunities for career leader to students and lecture exchanges, credit transfer and double degree program, joint internship and research, and publication with our reputable university partners. We believe that in our fast-paced and competitive world, there are basic competencies every young generation has to possess, namely excellence and distinction, excellence in either emotional and spiritual intelligence, and the ability to retain the personality as a culture human being. Please join Ogris. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us in this exciting journey. My name is Rada M. Lilan, a faculty member of the College of Inter Internationalization and Languages. To start with, let us invoke the presence of the Almighty through an audiovisual presentation, followed by the Philippines and Indonesia national anthems.
Kaprobinsyaan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas.
Welcome to the lecture series in computing disciplines conducted by the Don Mariano Marcos Memorial State University, La Union, Philippines, in collaboration with the Universitas PJRI Semarang, Indonesia. To give us a message, may we call BIMSO's Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Elsie M. Pacho. Ma'am? Sino? Hello po, good afternoon. Turn on, ma'am. Am I audible? We can hear you, ma'am. Okay, thank you. To the officials and participants of, of Greece and also the campus and university officials, from the Don Mariano Marcos Memorial State University. Good afternoon. It is my honor and privilege to have been given the opportunity to be with you virtually for this international collaborative effort involving DIMSU and the Universitas Pigri Simarang in Indonesia. The occasion today is yet again an example of how DIMSU is enhancing its international reputation and visibility, though the strong trust of a global internationalization and linkaging strategy framework. And by expanding engagements and partnerships, leading to the exceptional global opportunities for cross-border mobility. And I believe that developing institutional linkages, such as this international lecture series, can enrich everybody involved. So thank you of Greece for always maintaining the professional relationship with DIMSU. I thank you for believing in our world-class capabilities for instruction. Our friends will also have the opportunity to learn their subjects the Indonesian way. I wish you fruitful deliberations during our international lecture series and other future collaborations. Magandang hapon po. Mabuhay ang UPGRIS. Mabuhay ang DIMSU. Thank you so much for the warm welcome, ma'am. Also, to welcome us from UPGRIS, may we call the Head of International Affairs, Dr. Megan Nobita for to give her message. Good afternoon. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Loud okay. and clear. The Honorable President of Don Mariano Marcos Memorial State University, Philippines, Dr. Jaime Emanuel, Dr. Elsie Pacho, the Honorable Rector of Universitas PGR Ismarang, Dr. Sri Suchati M. Hum. The Honorable Speakers, they are Dr. Stefan Kops, Ibu Nora Kotrunada, STM Eng, Dr. Axel Capera, Bapak Febrian Murti Dewanto, SAM Com, Dr. Richard M. Marzan, Bapak Nur Nugroho Dwi Saputro, SCOM M. Com, Moderators, Lecturers, Students from DIMSU and Universitas PGRG Semarang. Thank you to each and every one of you for being here today. My name is Megan Ovita, and it is such an honor to speak on behalf of our rector. Let me begin uh, by giving you a warm welcome to the lecture series on computing disciplines. Before we get started, uh, I would like to express my appreciation to the team who generously helped us make this agenda come true. They are Dr. Noor, Dr. Roda, Natasha, and the rest of the team. We could not have done it without you. This event is one of the academic collaboration between Universitas PGRI Semarang and DIMSU. We proudly present this into four sessions held in four days in a row. Today is the first session, 11th April 2023, and it will be ended on Friday 14th April 2023. 
We hope this event not only strengthen the academic collaboration between both universities, but also bring benefits to lecturers, students who participate in this lecture series. Well, I do not want to take much of your time. I need to hand over this to Dr. Roda uh, to proceed with the next agenda. Once again, welcome and thank you very much for attending this event. I wish all participants good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am, and we look forward for more collaborations with your university. So before we proceed with the lecture proper, let me take this opportunity to thank our Dean Su and Ofdris officials, Dr. Pacho and Dr. Novita for joining us today. May I ask everyone then to turn on their cameras for the photo opportunity with our officials. All right, the MIS team of Dimsu will do the uh, screenshot. So at the count of three, one, two, and three. Please maintain your smile for we have five sets of windows in our panel. So let's have another set in three, two, and one. Another in three, two, and one. All right, we're done, we're good. Okay, so thank you so much again for uh, coming Dr. Novita and Dr. Pacho. So just a little housekeeping rules before we get started to our participants. Please turn off your microphones so that all participants could hear the resource speakers while they do the lecture. And also because the feedback of your microphone may distract our speakers. Also, in as much as we'd like to see your faces while our lecturers deliver their lecture, as a sign of courtesy to other participants, may we please ask everyone to turn off their camera. This would ensure focus so that all of you will only care and focus on the presentations. I'll be asking all of you to turn it on for our group photo at the end of the lectures. Since this is a webinar lecture and not a video conferencing, we'd love it best to just read your questions and the speakers will try to answer them. So thank you so much and happy learning. Throughout the computing's history, there have been dramatically different opinions on what computing as a discipline is really about. This lecture series covers how each decade has changed our views for bleeding edge technology, core knowledge in computing, and the nature of computing as a discipline. The essential skills and competence of computing professionals are also relevant and important in today's generation. Our first speaker is a graduate of Doctor of Information Technology and has been teaching in IT and related fields for a decade. He has intensively went under training in Germany to hone, to hone networking skills through Cisco Networking Academy and Microsoft Academy. Furthermore, his numerous paper presentations in international conferences, publications in Scopus Index journals for solo authored and co-authored works and a number of editorial works as reviewer and editor have been sharpened his expertise in research. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome Dr. Estefan Koops, who will talk about rapid minor. Dr. Koops, the virtual floor is yours. Hello. Hello, Dr. Koops. Good afternoon. Good afternoon from Dimso, Philippines. Good afternoon to, to Universitas PGRI Semarang and uh, to the participants online. Okay, so I am tasked to discuss or introduce Rapid Miner as a data science platform. So please allow me to share my screen. Share screen. 
those disabled participant screen sharing. Uh, please try again. Okay, uh, good afternoon again. So I'll be discussing Rapid Miner and the title of our talk today is Rapid Miner, a data science platform for everyone. This is intended for um, users or IT enthusiasts that are uh, beginners or it, it is their first time to, or they are not so in the advanced level when it comes to data science. Okay? So we will be talking about data science, a short discussion and demonstration, also more on uh, data mining. Okay. Some topics include data manipulation, data analysis with statistics and machine learning, data communication with information visualization, the data at scale or working with big data. These are all uh, topics under data science. Some tools that we are familiar with. Um, one is R. If you are a coder or a programmer, then uh, this tool is definitely for you. If you are more into, if you are, if your skill is more in the programming area. Also with Python, okay. Weka, another platform, data science platform, IBM, SPSS, MathLab, and RapidMiner. RapidMiner, we are going to talk more on RapidMiner. RapidMiner is a tool that you will work more on the graphical user interface. So with the use of mouse, keyboard, okay. and uh, these are all uh, Chuck Norris approved. If you know Chuck Norris, he is the greatest action star of all. So definitely this is approved, so we will discuss further, okay? Uh, machine learning, a branch of uh, data science. We have some predictive analysis uh, algorithms. These are all present in Rapid Miner as well. We have Naive Base, Support Vector Machines, and Decision Trees. These are some of the predictive analysis uh, algorithm. And yes, we have yeah, Machine Learning, okay, another meme. Okay, so demo. Allow me to demonstrate uh, Rapid Miner. Uh, okay. Please let me know if it's loading. By the way, the Rapid Miner, if you go to their website, you have to choose Rapid Miner Studio. Okay, someone is drawing. Rapid Miner Studio, and you choose the academ academ version. Also, today Rapid Miner is requiring us to register before we are before we use the platform, and it is uh, recommended. As you see there, uh, it is registered to under my name. This one. Oh. Okay, so it's loading. Again, before 
you can use the rapid miner, you have to register. Screen sharing has come. Okay. And a good practice if you register, it is nice if you use your email that is registered under your university. In our case, we are using at dimsu.edu.ph email domain. Now, if Rapid Miner detects that email domain, Rapid Miner understands that we are using this platform for educational purposes only, not for uh, commercial. We will not make money out of this. We will just, you know, learn. <laughs> we will machine learn this. Okay. So this is the rapid miner. I'm going to work with the blank process. We have the process panel, repository panel, where we have our data, the operators. Here is where we find uh, different uh, algorithms, as mentioned earlier, and the parameters. Okay. What I am going to do now is I'm going to demonstrate, say, under repository, we're going to grab one data, data set, under data. Samples. The data going to use famous incident Titanic. I'm just going to drag this down to the process panel. Okay, so far so good. So we are going to retrieve the data from you know, data set uh, that is entitled. Titanic. Now we have these connectors. We call these connectors this one out, output connector going to the result connector. This is the result connector. Okay. Okay. I need to minimize. The screen because I cannot see. Oh, okay. We have here a play button. This will now show us the result. Oh, someone is loading. So we have here this data set is intended for uh, education. No? So, data set of Titanic, the incident were in the ship ship sank. Okay, so we have here 1,309 data. What I simply did was drag down the Titanic, go to the results and play. Okay. I'm going to use the decision trees under operator, search for operator button or field. I'm going to look for decision trees. We have it. I'm going to drag this down to the process panel. If you notice, there's a warning. Is is present because we have to connect this. Okay. Oh. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Error happens. Okay. 
this all the time. Not work. So I drag the mechanic data from the repository panel. Use the decision tree algorithm. This is from the operators panel. Connect the operators. We call these operators. This is an operator. This is an operator. Okay. Let's run. Okay, now let us zoom out. Okay. okay, so this is an example of decision tree is that was generated from the Titanic data. So from this, so the gender, female or male, uh, if, you look, if you look into this deeper, uh, it is said that, uh, it's not readable, but the output of this uh, decision tree says to the uh, reader that during those time or if you are in the titanic and you're a female your chance to survive is higher and if you have children with you your, your chance to survive is even greater so they prioritized saving the female with children during the titanic event, Titanic incident. Okay. So again, repository panel, operator panel, process panel. Okay. Allow me to do this, delete, delete. Choose Titanic. You can practice on this later on. The decision tree and other you can work on this later on the, the yeah. so this happened without coding without programming so more on gui graphical user interface okay okay to share again my PowerPoint. So that was the first demonstration of Rapid Miner. Again, if you install Rapid Miner, you have to register first. It is very nice. It is best practice if you use your official email under your university. So that Rapid Miner will give you access to most of the features. Okay. Uh, next discussion, we have uh, data mining. Data mining, uh, under data mining, we have statistics, AI, artificial intelligence, ML, machine learning. Now, the story behind Netflix, if you are familiar with Netflix and the story behind it, how it came, how it was a success. Okay. Netflix has uh, discovered that House of Cards is a series and it has lots of uh, good rating. Good rating. Also, the uh, the director 
has a good rating and they they experimented they chose uh, they chose this actor this actor has also a high rating so they created an american version of house of cards and uh, released it on the netflix and yes it has a lot of viewers it uh, it dominated the uh, video streaming industry okay okay so that's how uh, it worked okay and today we have Aside from Netflix, we have other uh, video streaming platforms. Next to be demonstrated is uh, data mining on Twitter. Uh, as of now, ah, data mining on Twitter. What we need is we need a Twitter account. You do not have one i advise you to create one <laughs> uh, twitter is the number one platform in terms of social media in our country in the philippines it is facebook <laughs> okay but, uh, yeah. we need an api key this will be generated by twitter and then there will be a connection between twitter and uh, rapid miner access token the unique connection between rapid miner and twitter this last two items these are unique especially the third one access token it is your uh, identification it is how twitter will determine who is uh, accessing uh, data Okay, so it's time for a demo. In my case, I have a uh, share. Up to rapid minor. Okay. So let's try first. And for most, let's try to search for tweets using Twitter operator. So under the operator, under search for operator field, going to search for Twitter operator, search Twitter, drag it down, make sure you connect this to the result, then click on the Twitter operator we need to connect twitter to rapid miner to your account okay so it needs a connection source okay in this version of rapid miner the process is different from the rapid miner the earlier versions so i'm going to go under connections menu create connection choose twitter connection type twitter so we add this to the local repository let us name this connection connection 2023 underscore okay. so this is the access token that we need we click on the button over here This open URL, this will open the Twitter, the Twitter. Make sure you are logged in. In my case, I'm logged in, Stefan. And then Twitter needs to authorize the application. Authorize app. This is the code, this is unique. Oh, oh. Okay, allow me to repeat that. The screen share did not uh, move to the browser. 
Okay. So if we click on the request access token, a browser will open. Okay. Allow me to move to that browser. Okay. okay. Yeah, so yes, Twitter is angry to me. Uh, I uh, I was able to ask the token, but I was not able to show you. However, it's a simple procedure. I have copied the token from Twitter. So it is authenticating. Okay, it's still authenticating. If it takes uh, a longer time, we just simply wait longer. Okay. Hmm. Yes. Okay. One more time. Oh, no. Okay. So we have to authorize the app. This is now from the browser, from the Twitter. I am logged in. So this is my account. Authorize the application. Then this is the code. Let's, see. Let's go back to Rapid Miner. Uh, I hope that works. Huh. Come on. So the connection we have created, connection 2023. Okay. Let's try the query. But Mumbai Ral Nair. This means 100 uh, data sets. So this will search hashtag ni Jan hashtag the week. And then we run. Okay, so these are now what we have ex extracted from Twitter. This is the text, this, this is their tweet, John Week 5. Another solid weekend. Action speaks louder than words, John Week, and so on. We have limited this to 100 only. The limit is 10,000 10, data sets. If you have more than 10,000, Usually, there's an error that happens. Okay, so uh, there's a lot of tweaks. Twitter is still working, Rapid Miner is working. takes a long time we just wait a long time also come on so 
I'll stop this for a while. Bye. Ano ni Donald Trump? So all tweets with the keyword Trump. We want to understand how Trump kept America safe and okay. about segments. Here is a anyway. Okay. Next, we would like to okay. say right. Like we are going to have a file for this. Let's use CSV. Familiar with CSV? Going to save it. Mm. Let's have a Twitter demo. Let's have the file name uh, Twitter demo. Separator, let's change this to comma. And have this as a Search, query. Get my query. So this is the extracted data that has the Keyword hashtag Putin. Okay. So you want to study this, a sentiment analysis, <laughs> research about it. Okay. So allow me to search. So uh, this is the directory where we were where we saved the file. Chose CSV. So the Twitter data. Text. We fit the COVID nineteen. Okay. Okay, so again, you need a Twitter account under Rapid Miner. We create the connection under Connections menu. Create connection. Then you choose Twitter, local repository, the name. Okay. Then we request the access token from Twitter. This will open the Twitter account, and Twitter will give you a code. Once that this has all been set up, then we access the connection. Okay. Under Twitter operator, we choose the repository, 
or connection source, then repository, then the connection that we have created. Then we can, you know, search query. These are keywords. Yeah. Okay. We can also have multiple keywords. This is a tweets that I have extracted during Strong Typhoon. So from that, from that tweets, I characterize the data. Multiple tweets, multiple keywords. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine keywords. So in one go. Not sure if you can wait. Okay. Okay. Cleansing. When we say data cleansing, we remove uh, data that has no uh, that that are fully fully changed that are identical or has been retweeted many times. Some features: turbo prep and auto model. This. This feature is unlocked if you use your the email that email as a university. Okay, uh, I hope it was able to catch your interest in using Rapid Miner as a data science platform. What I have demonstrated are just some simple tools that we can use or some simple features that we can use under a uh, rapid minor. Um, I am now open for questions. Questions? And also if you want to contact me later on, you have other questions where you can simply email me and contacts of Dimsu also. Thank you, thank you, Dimsu and Universitas PGRI Semarang. All right, thank you, thank you so much, Dr. Koops. Hello, Dr. Koops. Hello, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, All right. So, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. yeah. So with your talk, uh, our category with Rapid Miner now is not a beginner anymore. So thank you so much, Dr. Estefan Poops. We will now take some time for questions. So as I have said earlier, you may type your questions in our chat box and Dr. Estefan Poops will try to answer them uh, later on. So while uh, the uh, other participants are still conceptualizing their questions, Dr. Stefan Koops, allow me to ask the first question, if it's okay with you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, and allow me also not to type it in the chat box, okay? So, Dr. Koops, uh, what websites can you refer or what websites or readings can you suggest to our participants if they wish to extend their knowledge on your topic or like they want to study more or they want to deepen their uh, interest and ideas with your topics yes that's a very very nice question because most of resources have you know th the answer is not straight to the point <laughs> there are lots of other topics included but, and even youtube tutorials i do not i do not recommend those um, under the website of Rapid Miner or uh, and, uh, like, uh, I'll just share my screen. There is a secret technique over here. If you know, if you will know this, uh, you will you will enjoy this. Okay. If you want to learn more, dig deeper 
into Rapid Miner, you click on help and then there is tutorials. These are all step-by-step -step tutorial in how to use Rapid Miner up to a, an advanced level. From beginner to advanced. Okay. That is what I suggest. That is the best and simplest. Okay. So if you have Rapid Miner installed, before you can install Rapid Miner, you have to register. If you register, use your email in, in email that you use in your university so that you have so that rapid miner will see you as a researcher as a student and not as a uh, not as a company not as a commercial entity okay. so if you have installed rapid miner under the help menu tutorials that's the secret technique let's stop sharing all right thank you so much dr estefan poops there were no questions from our chat box. That means the uh, discussion was clear and that they understand what you have said, what you have lectured to our participants. So it looks like we have already covered all the bases. Thank you again, Dr. Poops. Uh, let me do the honor of presenting to you our certificate of appreciation. So may I ask the uh, technical team to show to us or to share the screen for Dr. Coop's certificate. Okay. Allow me to read to you the text. Universitas PJRI Semarang, Indonesia presents the certificate of appreciation to Dr. Estefan Coops for the invaluable service as speaker in the international lecture series in computing disciplines with the topic Rapid Miner, a data science platform for everyone at the Universitas PJRI Semarang in collaboration with the Don Mariano Marcos Memorial State University on April 11, 2023. Given this 11th day of April, 2023, signed Dr. Sri Susiate, Rector Upris. Let's have a virtual clap, or let's give a virtual clap to Dr. Stefan Koops. Thank you so much, Dr. Koops. Um, again, let us have a, another photo opportunity with our speaker. May I request everyone to turn on their camera for the, upper, for the photo opportunity. The MIS team will do the honor of uh, having the screenshot. So again, well, at the count of three, Okay, so with your sweetest smile, at the count of three, one, two, three. All right, another one, two, and three. And last one, one, two, and three. Thank you so much, Dr. Koops, for having with us today. Thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Before we proceed with our second speaker, let's have a water break for at least uh, two minutes. After that, we will continue with our second speaker. So our second speaker is from uh, Upgris. Okay, so let's have a two minute uh, break.
All right. I hope everyone had already their water break. So welcome to the second lecture of this first series. We apologize that the chat box was disabled a while ago. Anyway, uh, the email address of Dr. Coops was uh, given a while ago. So I hope you did get his email address and just ask him through uh, a private message. So let's proceed with our second speaker. Our second expert is an assistant professor at informatics department and a faculty of engineering and informatics at Universitas PJRI Semarang. She is a master of information technology graduate and her research interests lie in the field of networking and the application of IT in the social context. So let us all welcome. Assistant Professor Nora Kutron Nada. Ma'am, the virtual floor is yours. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Nora. Hello, ma'am. Okay. Hello, ma'am Nora. Good afternoon. Okay. Thanks for having me. Are you able to hear my voice clearly? Yes, ma'am. Loud and clear, Dr. Nora. Okay. I will share my screen. Is the slide visible? Yes, ma'am, we can see it. Okay. Thank you. Uh, first, it was a pleasure to listen to your presentation, Mr. Stevan. <laughs> your presentation about how useful rapid manner, how simple and useful uh, rapid manner. Uh, maybe I will share a little bit different, yes, about uh, our uh, our project, student project. It's a uh, title, it IT for Koperasi Kamelan Introduction and Farmers Group. Okay, I'll start. I'll start it. Good afternoon, uh, everyone. My name is Nora, and I am delighted to be here today to share some information about our student project. I'm working as a lecturer in Informatic Department Faculty of Engineering, Universitas PGRI Semarang, or UPKRIS. Uh, this is a little picture of our campus. Our campus is located in historical city, Semarang. Maybe Semarang not as a uh, Famous as Jakarta. Okay. Uh, Jakarta, Semarang to Jakarta, the capital city of uh, Indonesia, is about uh, 442 kilometers. It can be reached one hour by plane and about uh, six hours if we take road trip. And this is uh, longer than Manila to Mani, yes, thank you. Manila to ja Manila to Jakarta. Because from Manila to Jakarta, we have to fly, okay? <laughs> yes, this is our city landmark or icon, Tukumuda Monument, and the Lawang Sewu building. Yeah, Lawang Sewu is the central building for the railway office at the bus. Uh, Lawang Sewu in Javanese language or thousand doors in the in, in English. Uh, why it's called that? Because building uh, the building has so many doors. In fact, there are less than than thousand doors. The building is has many tall and wide windows, so people often think it's a door. Okay, this is our menu today. Yeah, today uh, I will discuss about some student project that implemented in specific communities and places in Indonesia. Uh, I hope you find it informative and engaging. And I look forward for hearing your feedback and maybe I answer your question you have. Okay. First, we will talk about designing information system for Koperasi. What's Koperasi? Uh, second, about application AR uh, for introduction to Gamelan 
And then we discuss about web-based farmer group information system in uh, Temurejo village, in a village in Indonesia. Uh, first of all, I begin with how to design enterprise architect, architect in Koperasi Karyawan or Koperasi for Employee using TOGAF Architect Development Method. Word Koperasi in Bahasa, it derived from a cooperation in English. It's an organization engaged in the economic sector whose existence and is very close to the people of Indonesia. Koperasi in Indonesia have the principle of kinship or mutual cooperation. We usually uh, say gotong royong. Profit given to cooperasi members uh, come from the remaining result of operation, which are distributed evenly according to their respective uh, portion. This is an, uh, in a case, yes. She is Chachi. Her name is Chachi. She is an employee in the agency. When they see need money for the treatment of her child, uh, health, uh, her health insurance dot doesn't guarantee the medicine and equipment need. So she come to cooperate uh, or can uh, or, or cooperative yeah, to borrow money. And Chachi got a loan. And his installment were deducted from the, his salary every month. Uh, another person just call his name Bambang. He wanted to go to Makkah as a pilgrim. Uh, Bambang saving not uh, enough for his accommodation cost. He, then he came to Koperasi and problem is solved. Uh, most of Indonesian people knew about Koperasi. Many people have helped their financial problem with Koperasi. How come? Koperasi can lend money with interest that not suffocating uh, like in a bank and members get benefit in the form of remaining result of operation. This is obtained by members uh, once a year during uh, the annual member meeting. Koperasi are people center enterprise owned, control and run by for the member to realize their common economic, social, culture, need, and aspiration. The basic objective of cooperation is to help its member to fulfill their economic, culture, and social needs. Members would be happy if cooperation give fast service, service uh, excellent service, and accurate information. That's why even the smallest cooperation need an IT. Okay, based on this background, Based on this uh, background, Koperasi Karyawan or uh, Koperasi uh, for Employee do not have uh, information system and operation are different by uh, manual system. The purpose of this study is this to design an AA, uh, especially in Koperasi Karyawan using TOGAF. TOGAF or the Open Group Architect Framework so that EA can produce an IT blueprint an IT blueprint. Sorry. Yeah, an IT blueprint. The blueprint uh, determine business technology and information to support the achievement of organization's vision and mission. Uh, this AI design produce blueprint, yeah, can be used that uh, service quality, improve to improve the service quality and performance. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, Mr. Riliroy. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> and uh, this is the TOGAF architecture development cycle. The starting point for all is the requirement management here. At this stage, we conduct information and analyze needs by conducting interview with cooperasi stakeholders. Stakeholders are manager and members of cooperasi. The aim is to determine it, the, the, the determine it, target and desire step with the new system. 
Then the next system is identify the problem. The state is carried by conducting interview with stakeholders. Then a meeting was held to determine the requirement. Next, we design the business uh, architecture by showing the current architecture baseline and the proposed architecture. During this stage, a gap analysis uh, between we 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 do the analysis uh, the gap analysis between the baseline and the target. Uh, data architecture and and the application are carried a later stage. And finally, the architecture design of technology in this case in the form of the network's infrastructure and hardware design and the result is the blueprint stage A to H uh, are still in the development stage this is flow yeah this is the best line the best line uh, flow for saving and loan uh, process or in bahasa we call simpan pinjam uh, all members have mandatory saving and voluntary saving. Then if there are, are members who need a loan, uh, they will fill out a form, a paper form in a paper that has been verified their su superiors and then apply the saving and uh, to the cooperacy. If requirement complete and verified, the treasurer will approve, uh, approve and receive the fund. Installment paid each month and are deducted from the salary received each month. And here's also the baseline, how to give report to the cooperacy members. Following the report, uh, every year cooperacy hold an annual member meeting. The report contain report from each department as such as uh, business unit section, saving and loan section, installment section, and each member will be given a book in the form of financial report. Uh, based on the discussion, we design an enterprise architecture use TOCAF ADM framework, start from architecture vision, fast, fast to architecture technology fast, which produce blueprint design. And this is uh, to assist. Uh, every activity and in the cooperasi karyawan. We change for the manual system, all of the uh, process in the cooperasi, we use the information system or uh, application. Okay, uh, I will continue with the next uh, project. The next project, uh, we discuss about uh, how to introduce gamelan uh, with AR, 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 or augmented reality. Augmented reality allows user to see 2D or 3D virtual object projected onto the real world. Uh, AR enhance the user perception of the physical world by adding virtual element to it, allowing user to in the internet with digital content if it were part of the real world. And the gamelan, uh, this is gamelan. Gamelan is a traditional assembled music of Indonesia. Uh, it consists of various types of musical instrument, such as gong, kenong, kendang, drum. Gamelan is, uh, gamelan is usually played in traditional ceremony, religious event, or traditional Indonesian art performance. Gamelan music has unique style with complex rhythm and rich melodic pattern. Gamelan is also considered... Okay. Saya menemui ini di web untuk unik. Sorry. Gamelan. Uh, every graduation in the every graduation ceremony in Upgris, we we are performing gamelan and gambyong uh, dance because it uh, has a unique style and complex rhythm and melodic. Uh, I will 
that's you. Does this sound familiar? This musical instrument has its own name and philosophy. This uh, kendang, kenong, bonang, and so on. And this is one of the student community activities at Bukris, uh, Sangkatama Musical Group. Uh, they focus in playing gamelan or karawitan. As a national identity, the, this gamelan should be introduced and preserved, uh, especially for children. Instrument introduction, learning media application using augmented reality uh, can help for this aim. Uh, the mobile-based application has proven to be effective in the learning process of introducing musical instrument to the children. So this project uh, using uh, ADDIE method. ADDIE method is with five states as following analysis, design system, next, and uh, development, implementation, and the last evaluation. In analysis, we do literature study, observe, and interview to find uh, a problem that occurred at the research location. And next, we design a uh, has to uh, the application, design the application development according to the product uh, produced. And we develop, uh, develop the application. We need to uh, have, we have to install in the computer uh, the tools such as Blender, Unity, or the Fuforia. And the implementation states, we are implementing the design to the teaching material uh, that has been uh, developed in the in the real situation and evaluation evaluation we we do the testing uh, blackboard unit testing and user to user testing okay this is the implementation and the photo so elementary school children trying this application uh, with the teacher, with their teacher. Okay. Next and the last, the last uh, project, we, we will talk about uh, the implementation web, uh, the web application for vegetable farmers in the village, especially in Temurejo, Village in Grobogan. Grobogan Regency, approximately one hour's road trip from Semarang. Not uh, far from Semarang. Commonly in a village, there are farmer in Indonesia, there are a farmer, a group farmer. Uh, they routine a uh, hot meeting to discuss agriculture issue and seek proposal for assistance to the government and the private uh, sector. Background of the study is many members of the farmer group still find uh, difficulties to obtain stock, seed, fertilizer, pesticide, and others. 
obtain government uh, private assistance and market their crops. They have not been able to manage member and the various activity of their farmer group properly. The makmur farmer, makmur is one of the name of the farmer group in this case studies. This research uh, result in information system for the makmur farmer group include member data collection, fertilizer distribution, and crop marketing, uh, like uh, e-commerce. The system is built in base, uh, based on a website with the prototype development method. Uh, the farmer, use, as a user, suggests that they need a training to uh, how to use this system. And they suggest to add the menu uh, about water management because the irrigating uh, system in the uh, farm Indonesian farmer is uh, sharing. So they, they need a system can be uh, scheduling the irrigating. And uh, the farmer also thankful for this uh, project. And this is the Jasper and Menu display. This project can be developed by adding good fertilizer recommendation depending on the criteria of soil, uh, soil type, weather irrigation, the weather, the irrigation system. Furthermore, we can use method for data mining or decision support system for, for farming uh, needs. This is a photo during the interview and system testing. Okay, and that was what I want to share with you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Roda. Thank you so much, Dr. Nada. We appreciate your presentation, especially the integration of augmented reality in your gamelan. Uh, did I pronounce it right now? Or game land? How do you say it now? Uh, gamelan. Gamelan. Okay. Yeah. So, so we will now take some time for questions. Um, to our participants, you may type your questions in our chat box. We will read it later. Uh, and then oh, we have here a message from Rufo Baro. I saw a play like this when I was in Indonesia. Wow. Oh. So, Sir Baro has been to Indonesia. <laughs> Thank you, Rufo. You have come mm. to Indonesia. So, any other questions or queries or insights regarding the topic uh, Dr. Nora has been presented? So, again, uh yeah so it was a great play according to sir rufo yeah thank you it's a traditional music especially from java java we have many mm. uh, 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 uh province in indonesia and the gamelan is one of uh traditional music in indonesia Mm, right. Okay. So we hope we could hear that. Yeah. When we go you to must Indonesia, try also, Dr. Dr. Nora. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So I think there, there are no questions in our chat box. So we thank you, Dr. Rufo Baro, for your insights with the Gamelan of Indonesia. So let's try to go to Indonesia and experience gamelan also. So okay. <laughs> with that, with that, uh, it looks like we've covered already all the uh, topics and necessary uh, uh, ideas. So terima makasi, Doctor Nada. Let me My do pleasure. the honor. Of, yeah, let me do the honor of presenting our certificate of appreciation. So allow me to read the text. May I ask the uh, technical team to share the screen? All right. So Don Mariano Marcos Memorial State University, Baknotan, La Union, Philippines. 
presents the certificate of appreciation to Assistant Professor Nora Kutron Nada for the invaluable service as speaker in the International Lecture Series in Computing Disciplines with the topic uh, Information Technology for Indonesian Local Wisdom Optimization at the Universitas PJRI Semarang in collaboration with the Don Mariano Marcos Memorial State University on April 11, 2023. So given this 11th day of April, 2023, signed Jaime I. Manuel Jr., President Dimsu. May we have another photo opportunity, uh, this time with Assistant Professor Nada. May I request everyone to turn on their camera. All right. So at the count of three again, uh, Mr. Technical Expert, can you do this screenshot? So in three, two, one, another set. In three, two, one, and the last set. In three, two, and one. Thank you, Dr. Nada. So to our participants, uh, thank you so much for attending our first lecture series. We appreciate you being here. The attendance link will be posted later on the chat box. Please wait for it. So let me take this opportunity also to thank our speakers, uh, Dr. Stefan Poops, the, uh, Assistant Professor Nora Kutrunada. Thank you for accepting our invitation and be part and be a lecturer in this series. So tomorrow we will have the second session of our lecture series. Dr. Megan Novita of Upgrief and Dr. Excel Cabrera of Limsu will be our speakers. So with that, thank you again to our participants. Terima kasih for joining us today. So wait for the uh, attendance link. I will post it in our uh, chat box and that this will be our basis for the sending of your certificates. So see you again tomorrow, everyone. Mariano Marcos Memorial State University, or DIMSU, is the lone state university in 